Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to another TV box review. For today I have a new TV box called the T95U Pro and this TV box looks different than any other TV box that we've seen. So we have the Unlogic S912, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of internal storage and of course running Android 6. Let's check out the box and see what comes with it and then let's see how it performs. Let's begin. T95U Pro comes in this box, it's a very plain box and we don't really have any information on it. Inside the box we are going to find the same power adapter that we've seen in many many TV boxes. We are going to get a little user manual that has a couple of pictures and it's in English and a few other languages. An HDMI cable. And the same remote control that we've seen for many many TV boxes. This remote control is made out of plastic and it takes two AAA batteries and I do recommend using a wireless keyboard and mouse for a better experience. The T95U Pro looks different, it doesn't look like any other TV box that we've seen. First of all it's made out of metal, so all this is metal on top here we see the brand name and on the front we see the T95U Pro. We also have a power button and this is an LCD display that lights up. On the left side we find a USB port and a slot for a TF card. And turning the device around we are gonna find the optical audio, the AV, HDMI, network adapter port, the second USB port and that's where the power adapter goes. At the bottom of the device we are not gonna find any holes and the metal casing acts as a fit for the TV box. As soon as we turn on the box we get to the T95U Pro logo and this is gonna be their boot up animation. And it takes about 20 seconds or so and the box starts up. First thing I notice is the fact that we have the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and that means that we also have the notification tab. One thing about this, if you do hide the navigation bar, uh, there is no way of actually bringing this back up. So once you put it down, you're gonna have to restart the box to actually get it back up. Let's start by checking out what apps come pre-installed on the T95 View. So I see a 3D gallery right here, I see Facebook, I see Kodi, the Play Store, Netflix, Showbox, Skype, the Speed Test app, also System Update app right here and uh, YouTube. So we do get a lot of apps that come pre-installed. Next let's go to the Settings app and see how it looks. And it's the exact same Settings app that we've seen for many many TV boxes. Here we can either connect through a cable or through Wi-Fi. And since we are here let's check out the speeds uh, through wired connection and through Wi-Fi. On the speed test app, through a wired connection, we get a download speed of about 82. On the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi network, we get a download speed of about 16. And on the 5 GHz Wi Fi network, about 20. So, not the absolute fastest speeds over Wi Fi. And we are back to the settings app. A display here, you can basically change the screen resolution. This is gonna be different depending on the TV that you have connected. But screen positioning, you can just zoom in and zoom out of the screen. And I have the HDR mode off at this time for uh, the entire video. Moving back here at sounds, so at sounds you can change uh, digital sounds, so depending on your setup at home. And I did try DTS and Dolby Digital. If you're gonna be using Kodi, DTS will cut in and out every few seconds. However, if you do use the player that comes with the box, so I'm gonna show you what player that is. Uh, so this movie player right here, if you're gonna be using this movie player, DTS files and Dolby Digital files will work very very good. So the only downside is that you're not gonna be able to watch those type of movies with Kodi. At about here we can see the model name, so uh, we're gonna have the T95U Pro. And the latest uh, security patch is coming from June 1st, 2016 and we have Android version 6.0.1. And now moving back here uh, at languages, I'm just going to scroll through the languages available onto this particular device. So hopefully you see the one uh, that you may be interested in. So a lot, a lot of uh, languages like most of these TV boxes. And those are all the languages available. And we do have Bluetooth for this uh, particular TV box. Next I'm going to go to more settings. And at more settings here at storage and USB. 
So we have about 11.87 gigs available out of the 16 that come with the box and uh, you can also install uh, an SD card as internal memory because we have uh, Android 6.1 so it's very very easy to do. You just press uh, use as internal storage and then press next and next you'd format and erase that SD card and all of a sudden it becomes internal memory. And since we are talking about internal memory let's check out the speeds for the internal memory. For the internal memory we get a reading speed of about 51 and a writing speed of about 23 and this is the speed that we get for the RAM. The T95 View comes with root access from the factory for those of you that are interested in and also this is the digital rights management information and again this TV box is not gonna be able to play Netflix in HD. And before we go any further, I want to touch onto the Play Store. So the Play Store does work very, very well. You can install basically any app uh, from the Play Store and uh, it does work very good. And the multitasking also works fairly well. So you can uh, just change in between apps that uh, you have running in the background and the TV box seems to keep most of them uh, running in the background. So that's a very good thing. On the Antutu benchmark we get a score of about 34,897 and a team for here we can see some more details about this particular TV box. Moving on to the Geekbench 4 results, here we get a multi-core score of about 2100 and a single core score of 423. Here we can see some system information and down here some uh, results uh, of the test. And for the last benchmark test on the iStorm Extreme we get a score of about 5700 and down here we can see some more details about the score. The T95 View comes pre-installed with Kodi 16.1. I'm gonna go to System here and System Info. I'm just gonna scroll through this here so you can see anything that you may be interested in. So as I said before, if you're planning to use uh, DTS and uh, Dolby Digital files, uh, you're gonna have to actually play them with the player that comes pre-installed uh, with the TV box, so not with Kodi, because Kodi will cut in and out. So now let me show you what uh, add-ons we have, because we have a whole bunch of uh, add-ons here. So as you can probably tell, uh, it does come with a whole bunch of add-ons pre-installed, and I know that uh, a lot of you like uh, a lot of add-ons. So let me try to find the working stream. So let's go to live TV. Let's go to TV. Let's try this one. Let's try Italy. Let's try it again. And let's uh, open this one. I did open this one before and I know that it uh, works. So I just wanted to get the working one uh, going. So as you can probably tell it starts right away and uh, I don't see any reason why Kodi wouldn't do good onto this uh, particular TV box because we have a very powerful processor. So this is how Kodi looks and uh, works onto this particular TV box. And since I have Kodi opened uh, I'm gonna play a couple of files so you guys can see how uh, well files do. So let's start with this one. I already played it and I know that uh, it works. I'm just gonna let it play for you guys for a couple of seconds. And as you can probably tell, uh, there are no issues with this sun uh, whatsoever. I did see a green flash and more green flashes, uh, if you've noticed that. So I'm not sure what uh, that's coming from. But I did see it in the past for other TV boxes. The next file is going to be this 4K file at uh, 59 frames per second. And keep in mind that I have that HDR mode off uh, in the settings. So that's why this file is working. So this one uh, is doing fine. And basically all the other files that I'm gonna try uh, are gonna do just fine. So uh, this one also do does good and uh, this is a 4K file at 50 frames per second. The following one it's a 720p file and uh, again this one will do fine with no issues. So we'll stop this one as well. The following one it's this one and again this one uh, will do just fine, we'll skip all the way to the end. And as I was saying, uh, it does work uh, very good. The following file, it's gonna be this one. And again, it works uh, just like the other ones with no issues whatsoever. Moving on, it's another 4K file filmed with the phone. And again, this one does uh, perfectly fine as well. And the last file that I'm not even gonna try playing, it's this one, this one doesn't start and uh, You'd actually have to install like the MX player or something for the file to start up. 
All the apps that I've tried onto this uh, TV box seem to do very very well. Uh, I have uh, the browser open, it's the browser that comes with the TV box. And I just wanted to open an article and uh, scroll up and down. And as you can probably tell, uh, it does do very very well. So the next uh, test that we're gonna do, it's gonna be YouTube. So the YouTube app comes pre-installed. For the YouTube app, the maximum resolution is 1080p at 60 frames per second and the video does go very very smooth. So let me select the resolution here and we'll let it play uh, for a few seconds so you guys can see how well it does. So it does do very very good and uh, it doesn't stop at all. As usual I have FIFA 16 playing and as you can probably tell it does uh, really really good and I don't see why it wouldn't uh, do good because the S912 uh, it's a very powerful processor. After this I will be playing uh, Real Racing 3 as well just so I can uh, get you a better idea uh, how well uh, gaming works onto this uh, particular TV box. And now uh, this is Real Racing 3, I will be playing a bit so you have a better idea how well uh, the box does uh, for games and stuff. And as you can probably tell it does do really really good. I'm just not uh, the best driver for uh, games. But uh, I don't see any game that uh, would not do good onto this particular uh, TV box. And it's time to conclude this video. So the launcher that comes with this particular TV box is not the absolute best, uh, but you can always install a different launcher from the Play Store. So for example, I'm using Nova Launcher uh, right now, so you can install any launcher uh, you want. I wish the Wi-Fi would have been better onto this particular TV box because those speeds that we got for uh, Wi-Fi weren't the best. I'm happy to see that we have the navigation bar. I'm not sure why they chose to make it uh, impossible to bring back up uh, if you actually bring it uh, down. But uh, I guess different choices, different manufacturers and uh, so on. But overall this TV box did seem to go uh, fairly good and I do like the shape uh, of it because it does look a bit different than most of these TV boxes that we see every single day. Alright guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you did like the video, press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.